So in this video, we are going to go over how to make the shell of your car if you are making a shell car. If you are not making a shell car, then this video is not for you and go look at one of the other tutorials. If you are making a shell car, this is where we want to start. So I'm just going to adjust this a little bit since most of the shell cars I've been seeing in our designs in our class don't have as much curvature throughout the width of the body. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete that curvature. So I'm going to get rid of extrusion four and that'll bring me back to a nice consistent width. Now with your shell car, even if you do have a little bit of curvature or if you can start a sketch on that face, that does not matter. You still want to start on the XY plane so that you are in the middle of the car. Remember with the XY plane, it is again using hidden lines, so they're going to be a little bit of a fainter gray. So you might need to turn up the brightness on your computer screen in order to accurately see them. If you already have your shell outlined on your sketch, you can continue to use some of that temporary geometry like we've been practicing. So if you know that it starts about 20 millimeters from the front of your car and then it goes up for about 10 millimeters or so, you can use all of that temporary geometry as benchmarks to make sure you're hitting about the same shape. Or if you're going on a more freehand journey, then you can just go with your spline. But with our shell, we're gonna go ahead and create that shape however you have imagined it in your drawing. Remember to be very careful when it comes to getting near that cartridge hole, and we will show in just a second how to measure that to make sure that you are in fact in spec with at least three millimeters away. Now before I actually go ahead and cut out the shell, I do want to check a couple of things like the fact that my front wheel will be able to fit in here. So without doing something permanent, I'm just going to look up the diameter of my wheel. If you're using a shell car, you're probably using a GTFX wheel, which has a diameter of 34.5 millimeters. So from the center of my axle hole to the outside, um, I'm just going to go ahead and type that in. So now you can see even without the shell, this wheel is a little bit too tall for the car itself, but I can't move the axle hole any lower because this is already at the lower end of that spec. So that's going to tell me that I might need to make an adjustment in here. I'm just going to ignore that for right now since this is our example, but if you are seeing something like that, you will need to make adjustments to your car. So let's assume that that did fit. Let's assume magically that that is a correct size. I can go ahead and fine tune any measurements again by clicking on those vertexes and continuing to adjust the shape of my shell. When I have it at a shape that I like, I do want to do one final check over here towards my axe or my canister hole to make sure that I am at least three millimeters away. Sometimes I like to just use a line to kind of gauge that from the corner of that to the edge of my spline is about three millimeters. So I'm cutting it close and I might want to adjust it, but depending on the angle, I'm a little bit over, so I'm okay. Remember again, you can still click on and drag those vertexes to adjust and give yourself some more room. Since we are going to be cutting out the shell, just like we did for the formation of the shape of our car, we're going to enclose everything we don't want in some lines. So using my line tool, I'm just going to go straight across the bottom. And then if you did put a sample wheel in here to test the diameter, you can go ahead and delete it. When you finish the sketch, we're then going to go ahead and extrude. And we are going to grab that whole shell structure and again, make sure we are extruding it symmetrically. Now you do have to think about how thick you want the walls of your car to be. Um, if they are too thin, there is always the possibility of them breaking. But I found that about 35 millimeters of hollowed out shell tends to be fairly sufficient. If you want to do a little bit less, say if you want to do 33, that will leave you a little bit less room for your wheels. Truly, you need at least 30 millimeters for your wheels to fit comfortably, anything less than 30 and you are going to be cutting it a little bit too close. What that looks like from the bottom and the reason why we're starting that in, in the middle is so that when we cut it out, it is going to go evenly in either direction, leaving behind that hollowed out portion. So that's kind of our easy way of doing our shell and you can see now I have that entire thing hollowed out. Now there is going to be another video that's going to show you how to make this shell, actually build it in the lab, if you are not planning on CNCing. I am going to warn you, as kindly as I can, that this is not for the faint of heart. 
Making a shell is going to require a good bit of work, a good bit of patience, and a good bit of precision. So if you are going to be rushing through it, or if you are running out of time because you are an inventor and it is the last day or past the due date, you might want to consider adjusting your design to eliminate the shell. But that is the easy way of how to make our shell.